sing hallelujah the lamb is overcome we sing hallelujah praise the lord everybody god is so good and truly the lord's mercy i tell you it endures until the end i came real quickly to remind someone today of the promise that god gave to his people over in the book of isaiah the 54th chapter i'm going to read in your hearing just one verse it says verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper in every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me saith the lord amen i came to let you know again that no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper let us pray father thank you so much for your many promises thank you for all that you do for us thank you for loving us thank you for protecting us. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for your only begotten son, Jesus. Hallelujah. That made this relationship possible with you. For that, I give you praise. Now, Lord, as we as we speak about your word, this promise in Isaiah, the 54th chapter, I pray that it would come alive to us, Lord God, and that, Lord, your people would be edified and that you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my Redeemer, I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, it's exciting being a child of God because you never know what God is going to do. God is sovereign. He can do whatever he wants to do whenever he wants to do it. And we have been blessed in so many different ways. God has made a way out of no way. God has provided for us. He's kept us safe. Hallelujah. He's given us his love he's provided us with the faith that we need to trust him a measure of faith he has given us the holy spirit he has given us angels that encamp around them that love the lord he has given us his word that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path and the bible even declares hallelujah that the word became flesh and dwelt among us hallelujah he gave us his only begotten son jesus hallelujah he gave Gave us a book full of promises that we can lean on, that we can turn to, that we can hope. Hallelujah. He's given us our inheritance through Christ Jesus. He's made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has given us the mediator, the great high priest, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now you might say, what does all that have to do with Isaiah 54, 17? No weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper. Well, if he has done all that he has done for us do you think that his promises will stop there if he's able to provide then he's able to protect i want you to know today that god is able to do the impossible in your life what is it that you need him to shield you from what is it that you need for him to do in your life put your trust in him rely on his word for he is not a man that he should lie hallelujah his promises are yea and amen. Put your trust in him today. Hallelujah. And know that, you know, although the weapons may be fashioned, they're not going to prosper. Hallelujah. Because God is on no your today side. That the Lord loves you. He sent me all the way on this Sunday to let you know, to remind you that he loves you, that he cares. Hallelujah. And to let you know that you are protected in him. Glory be to God. So I want you, hallelujah, to throughout your week, just focus on God's word, focus on the many promises, the manifold blessings that we have received because of his goodness, because of his mercy, and know that if he has brought you this far, guess what? He's able to take you. He who has performed the good work is able to perform it until the day of Christ. God is going to keep you, hallelujah, until the end. Again, know today that God loves you. I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, know that God has your back, hallelujah, and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you.
Christians without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.